Shalom again, my friends. So I have a question for you. What is the letter which appears most often in the Torah? Give up? It's the Vav, that little line. Usually you find it somewhere in the middle of a sentence, maybe to begin the sentence, the Vav. It means and. Vav, it connects. It connects what came before with what comes afterwards. One little letter, the Vav, and it means and. Now this week in the Torah, we read again about the construction of the tabernacle. The tabernacle or the Mishkan, which was the portable site of worship, a portable sanctuary which our ancestors took with them as they wandered through the desert for all those 40 years. As we read in the Torah, we see that there's a very important piece to that construction. The Mishkan requires something which is called a vav, or in Hebrew, vavim, meaning hooks or sockets. That these hooks are what connected the curtains. Vav, as I told you, means and, and the vavim, they connected, these hooks connected the curtains one to the other. Now, the origin of the vav really has a beautiful story attached to it. Do you remember the story in the Torah that tells us that Cain unfortunately killed his brother Abel? Now when God found out about it, he played, I shouldn't say it, but I will, he played dumb about it. And he asked Cain, he came to Cain and he said to him, where's your brother? And you know what Cain responded, you say, he said, Hashomer achi anochi, am I my brother's keeper? And that answer disturbed God, and understandably so. Because everything about our Torah is designed to teach us that yes, we are our brother's keeper. And yes, we are connected, not just with our siblings, our brother, our sister, our family, but with the Jewish people. So when Cain was sent away, he went with what has been called the mark of Cain on his forehead. What was the mark of Cain? The rabbis tell us in the Midrash, their wonderful, wonderful exposition on the Torah, they said, the mark of Cain was a vav, the letter vav, on his forehead. Why? Because that was God's way of reminding Cain that he was connected that he was created with the intention of being, of being connected, not only to Abel, his brother, but to, to everybody else, to his family, to the extended family. The Vav was a reminder that God placed on Cain's forehead that we're not in this life for ourselves alone. So I thought about the indispensable Vav, and I think it gives us an important lesson. We live in an age in which so many people believe that life is about how you go about taking care of your needs and making certain that you are provided for. The Vav reminds us that we are connected. It's us and someone else. It's us and other people. Our religion is a religion of we. Judaism is a faith of we. It is a faith in which we believe that we have the connection of the Vav that binds us to one another. In a few months, I'm going to take my group to Israel, and one of the sites I'm going to take them to is to an absorption center where Ethiopian immigrants are being somehow assimilated into Israeli culture. These are immigrants coming from Ethiopia, brought to Israel by the Israelis and by money funneled in from all over the Jewish world. And why? 
because although they look different from us and although their traditions may not be the traditions of contemporary Judaism, we understand the lesson of the Vav. We understand our connection to them. And so by the tens of thousands, they've been brought home to Israel. It's all because of that Vav. It's all because we remember who we're connected to. So to be a Jew means to be connected horizontally to the people, to the Jews who are here in this world today, and not just to Jews. I want to tell you we have an ongoing responsibility to the non-Jewish community, to their concerns, to their needs as well, and you know that I believe that. We're also connected vertically to every Jew, whoever was. We're connected to those in Jewish history, we're connected to those Jews who live in the Middle East, in Israel, in Arab countries, in Europe, in South America. We're connected, all of us. To be a Jew is to live like a vav, is to live with a commitment to connection to other Jews wherever they may be. So let us live by this insight that we are connected one to the other in good times and in bad, in times of simcha and in times of sorrow. Let us learn to live by this truth all the days of our lives. Thank you very much. I'll see you again next week.